All right, so today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can make your old Archer C7 um, using a Qualcomm Athros QCA9563 at 750 megahertz. I have the fifth version of the router. It's end of life, sold on Amazon for about $75 and it doesn't say what the actual version of this one is. Uh, the latest firmware you can get for it right from the TP link website itself still select your version that you have C7 version 5 come over here to support Go to firmware and you can download the firmware from them directly uh, What I'm going to be showing you today is in DDWRT creating a wireless point-to-point -point connection as well as Wi-Fi and LAN connection for yourself from your router. Uh, here is a diagram showing you a little bit better of what's going on here. So we're going to have our first router here that we don't have access to or we don't need access to it to do this. We have our second router here which is going to be the Archer C7 and that one is going to get an IP address via DHCP from this router and it is also going to issue, issue out its own subnet for your connections for your devices they will be all routed and natted through this DHCP IP address right on over to the original first router gateway so what we're gonna do is we're looking at right here already I have this router flashed quite a bit of directions here and prerequisites you can skip right to 5 download the factory to DDWRT file from TP link Archer C5 folder and then download the current release which I've done exactly that went through this procedure initially you'll start off going to IP address 192.168.1.1 that's what it's gonna set it to statically so you'll need to go ahead and go over to your network card let's say it's Ethernet and then you're going to need to change the IP range to use one that's within its range so one will put it at 50 and you can press enter from here when you have DDWRT properly working this will let you reach it at 192.168.1.1 in your browser so what I want is to be at this point where you're running the latest firmware build and then from here you're going to be able to go to setup the setup tab you're going to give your router a name host name don't change anything with MTU local IP address is going to be 192.168.25.1 slash 24 the gateway is going to be the IP address of that first hop router so whatever this IP address is is going to be the gateway for your second hop. Local DNS is going to be set to itself. DHCP server we're going to want that enabled and it's going to be issuing out IP addresses in our own separate subnet here. You can set your DNS as whatever you please. Use DNS mask for DNS and DHCP authoritative. Yes. Come down here, set your time zone enable your time zone pool to ntp.org works save your settings do not apply the settings save your settings you're going to want to go ahead and go over to advanced routing and make sure that you have your operating mode set to gateway you don't need to change anything else just change this to gateway we're going to go back over here to basic setup make sure that you leave DHCP on automatic configuration uh, from here, we can go ahead and go over to the wireless tab. Now, in this scenario, I have the 2.4 gigahertz radio acting as the station. So you need a station to be your gateway to the first hop router anyway. So basically, I have the set to use the fastest speed, 2.4 only. Channel width is set to 20 megahertz, which is, in fact, what that is running at. Uh, from here put in the SSID number or name and then put in your BSSID MAC address and that's going to be how you're going to connect underneath uh, your wireless WN1 the 5 gigahertz band you can create your access point with that 
set it to AC only. You can change whatever you want with this. Set it to SSID. I currently have it set to disabled. Then I am plugged in via LAN. So from there, you can go over to once you have this all punched in and saved, you can go over here to wireless security, enable the security parameters that you have set for yours. And then, so this one connecting to block 134 right here, WN0, that's going to use this WPA algorithm with WPA2 personal, and you're going to enter in the password for the network right here. From there, the second wireless card that you have in here for 5 gigahertz, I have this also set. Same thing, same encryption type. Set your password for your own network down here. Save your settings. Next off, we can go over to the um, we're going to want to come over here to the security tab with the firewall and we're going to be able to just turn our firewall right off because the first router will have its firewall enabled. So we're just going to open it right up by disabling our firewall. Now from there, make sure that you have everything else set right here. You can create a backup and from there you should be good to go to have it automatically connecting to that first network as well as rebroadcasting it over your own separate subnet that you'd want. Hopefully this helps. Peace.